there was always a B-grade swimming group and they were known to be inferior swimmers but there was something about them that was considered valuable to the icebergers. And then it took an esteemed magazine, an international organisation, The Economist, to actually define what it was. They came up with an article one day explaining that once you set aside all the glamour and the important people that sit in leadership positions, the actual critical group that holds an organisation together, the glue, the very heart of it, is the middle management rank. And the headline that led into that article was clipped out it was pinned up on the Iceberger Notice Board one day and it read the importance of the B team and so the legend began. Now, Rocket Homan, Peter the Oracle Court and myself as the Reverend have worked hard to retain our humility. We understand that the Iceberger's motto is strength through humiliation. But the real credo of the icebergers is camaraderie is more important than coming first. The icebergers have been held accountable. The B team are something like, you could say, the gardeners of the icebergers. We're always weeding out and chopping down any tall poppies that may arise. We carry our challenge our burden manfully we've tried to bring others in we thought we'd found a really good one when greg kemp was inducted and joined us but unfortunately from the moment lord Locko dubbed him the commissioner we noticed a certain glint in his eye something changed and then unfortunately and it was hard to resist along came the glitz and glamour of an AFL footballer, the buffed body, the rippling muscles of Mickey Conlon, and Greg was smitten. He jettisoned camaraderie in favour of winning. He wanted to emulate and beat Mickey Conlon. And so, Mickey and I, to show the strength of the B team, we even had to eject one of our own number. Icebergers, rest assured, we will hold this group together on the basis that camaraderie is more important than coming first. Thank you.